archives of internal medicine, researchers report on another study that helps put the folic acid issue to rest. According to a meta-analysis of previously published studies, use of folic acid supplements lowers homocysteine levels, but is not associated with reduced rates of cardiovascular events, cancer, or death over a five-year period. The study was unusual in that the meta-analysis was based on individual participant data from 37,500 patients in large randomized trials of folic acid supplementation. The positive news is that there was a 25% reduction in homocysteine levels associated with active folic acid supplementation. However, those who took folic acid were no less likely to have a major cardiac event than those who took placebo. In addition, there was no significant difference between folic acid and placebo groups in the number of patients experiencing coronary events, stroke, new cases of cancer, or death. The authors conclude that the meta-analysis found no evidence of benefit with treatment continued for more than five years. Although some benefit might emerge with even longer treatment and follow-up, the trial results give no reason to expect that. Before we dismiss the folic acid issue entirely, it is important to remember that folic acid supplementation prevents neural tube birth defects. In the United States, foods are fortified with folic acid for this reason. Although the lack of any other benefits is disappointing, the meta-analysis also points out that the lack of any significant adverse effects on vascular events, cancer incidence, and overall mortality provides reassurance about the safety of population-wide folic acid fortification. I'm Peter Block with the CardioSource Heart Minute.